Hey y'all, at the Detroit Autorama 2013, and this is the 50th anniversary of the Riddler Award, so they have, uh, I think like 30 of the last, whatever, how many years, Riddler cars there are here. But I'm, the reason I'm doing this video is, this is 1968's winner, and it's 1913 Ford C-Cab or something like that. But anyways, I just wanna, I mean, it's cool, it's okay. But look how far our, our hobby has come from from 1968 to 2000s, what it takes to win a Riddler now versus what it used to take. So, anyways, let me get this camera turned around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> and there's no problem with the car. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not banging on it. I'm not hating on it. But can you imagine? That was state of the art, crazy over the top, the Riddler winner in 1968. I don't know why. I, I mean, I guess. You know, this was the style that was going on, but look at this. That big old seat they put in there. And velour, crushed velour. And see, a car like this, you can't change. Look at that shag carpet. But <laughs> just screwed on, too. I mean, this was it. This was as good as it got in 68, buddy. They probably had 10 grand in building this car and thought that was just way over the top if they had that much in it but that was all state-of-the-art crazy custom for 68 that little window they put on it just for the driver that's pretty cool beer tap oh look at that steering wheel that's crazy in it and I support our local firemen so you know I appreciate that I'm just saying you know what I'm saying We've come a long way in this hobby. A little first aid kit, fire extinguisher. But there you go, the 1968 Riddler Award winner, Detroit Autorama, 2013. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.